Oh, welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Zero from TechDragon.info and today I got some more Minecraft for you. Um, I'm going green. Yep, go and full green power. I'll show you in a little bit why and how. First off, we need to go into the nether. Clicky. Oh, hello. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> um, and there's a place down there. What the hell? Why the hell is there a meadows princess on the ground here? Okay then. Well, I think we need to go through here. Um, actually. No, no, let me go back. Wrong way. Pull out my sword here. Turn my jetpack on, that might be a good idea. Now, let me think. The aggro? Don't know. I'm trying to think, I put a pump in the nether, and I'm trying to remember where. I think I was in. Hello, hello, Mr. Blaze. Miss me. Ha. I think it was down here, wasn't it? I'm trying to remember. I um, actually put a uh, pump down and then I kind of never actually marked it. So, this is going to be an interesting trip through the nether. Trying to figure out where the hell I put my pump. So, this might be very funny. I hope not. Because funny would be bad for me. Luckily I have a jetpack that makes life very much easier in the nether. Um, big, big difference. I don't have a bow with me, so just be careful. Okay, it's not out there. Where the hell did I put that thing? Um. Hmm. Get into a semi-safe corner. Just take a look at my waypoints. Um. don't have our spawn spot. I don't remember if I went from here or... Let's take a look over here. There's pigmen are walking into the fire. Okay then. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting trying to find this shit. <laughs> I should have freaking marked it. I realized it later that I should have. Ooh, look, there's a whole wall of lava there. Lovely. So. You know what? I think I'm gonna go back. And first off, set a freaking whoa lag. That was not fun. <laughs> Don't lag above lava. Not fun. Down here, I think. I think my pump's down there somewhere. I remember going down here for the soul center. We've definitely been here, but that was for the soul sand. Still not entirely sure. Is that far back coming for me? No, doesn't seem like it. Good. Now, where 
that I put that bloody pump. It's such a huge mistake in that marking the location. <laughs> so bad. Hmm. Let's see. It was up against like a rock, like a complete rock wall, basically. Is that way? It's bad looking a big lake like this ish. Hmm. I guess I'll uh, cut the video here to not prolong this any longer. <laughs> I'll go find it and I'll be... Oh, hello. My pump must be close, because this looks like it's been pumped. And since it's a circular shape like that, the pump must be over here-ish. Can't be too far from here if it looks like that. You know what I should have done? I should have kept my chunk loader on um, laser mode. I could have seen that. Oh well, I'll cut the video here and I'll be back as soon as I find it. Well, this is kind of awkward. Um, I found somebody else's. <laughs> Somebody else's freaking uh, pump here. This is mine. <laughs> Dang it. Oh crap. I did see it correctly then that you know the the lava how it was being pumped out, but it wasn't mine. Dang it. I'll continue looking, I guess. <laughs> hey, look what I finally found. Yay! Finally. So, I'm gonna clean this up and I'll be back shortly when I'm back home. Well, as promised, a quick tour through my uh, house here. Over here I have all my MJ equipment, um, Minecraft tools, and over here my EU system. And I'll take a quick look in the background here. You see that the MJ system is powered by two redstone, uh, redstone, wow, two biogas engines. Um, and that's more than enough power for these machines. We can run two of them at a time without any issue. Um, they output about, what, 5 MJ per machine? Most of these things require 4, so we can run two and a half machines at the same time, which is fine. More than enough for our needs right now. Back here we have our MFE, which is being charged by our three thermal uh, generators. We'll get to that in a little bit. And we got our transformer, of course, and our VAT boxes. Those are basically left from when we started, so might as well incorporate them to increase the amount of EU per tick we can output. So, back here we have our mass fabricator, which is being powered from outside by advanced solar panels. We got our piping to pipe everything into chests and sort everything out and everything that needs to be uh, mace rated and then put in the furnace is being put in the furnace. Now for the interesting part, at least I think it's the interesting part, we have our lava there, our lava generation there, and our biomass generation over here. Got a lovely circle going of um, fertilizer. And basically these two are filling up our tank with biomass. And yeah, two is more than enough to keep it filled. We got a fertilizer, lovely going around. So, tank completely filled and stays filled, so the system really doesn't have to do a whole lot to uh, stay up to speed there. So, let's take a quick look down here, if I can fit in the whole cup. That, yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so, we have one pipeline going towards our lava generators, I'll show that in a bit. One going towards the engines I just showed you, and one going to the engines that are powering our quarry, which I'll also show you in a sec. Okay, down right here. There we go. Close up so nobody falls in. So, this is where we generate our lava. 
with magma crucibles and biogas engines attached to them, four per crucible, and they're being fed cobblestone and it feeds into the Starcraft tank, which then pumps the lava into the thermal generators. Over here we have five biogas engines that are fueled, of course, by the same biogas system. They're charging up two redstone energy cells that go into an energy tesseract that delivers the power to our um, quarry. And we can expand upon this by quite a bit by adding more engines on all sides of this cable. We should be able to run our quarry at 100 MJ a tick, eventually. Um, actually, without too much trouble. I just was too lazy to make the engines right now. So, yeah, that's going to be nice. We're going to have a very, very fast quarry. That requires very little to set it up. So, I guess that was about the overview of everything I have. Um, if you want more detail about this system, I've done a separate video on it. I'll put a link in the description about my test setup about all this. Um, the quarry is just an extension of all this, I guess. The power system for it. There's nothing really special there. Take a quick look in here. No, actually... Not really interesting. It's basically just those three engines down there. There's thermals. A quick run through everything. And that is our power system at the moment. Um, it's more than sufficient. And the good thing about our power system is everything is separate. If one machine takes up all the energy, only a small section will stop working. Not everything. So it's nice and segmented. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.